Here he comes again. <laughs> see that? You see all that slack in my line? Feels like a Cisco almost. I got another jigging wrap in my hand. Just bum rushed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't even catch up to it. <laughs> it's a walleye too. It just inhaled it. Look at that. <laughs> line goes slack. Fish in the jigging wrap. And the one thing is, jigging wrap, summer and winter, my go-to bait. I mean, no doubt about it. This is a little bit smaller size, but same thing in the summer. I fish it really aggressive. So many ice anglers will fish that bait just really, really slow. I fish it aggressive as fast as I can to get those fish interested. And then as soon as they come up, you just slow that bait down. But summer and winter, the jigging wraps just simply work. Get this one back down. Just smoked it. As you notice, I'm not tipping that at all. You know, once you start tipping that bait, it really screws up the action. I'm just fishing it aggressive, and as soon as the fish come onto the screen, I'm slowly working it up. I'm not pulling it away from them at all, but I'm keeping it aggressive the entire time, and they'll come up and smack it, just like that last fish where your line goes slack to hit it so hard, but I'm not tipping it with bait. Now, I'm fishing a 30-inch medium rod. You know, it's got a lot of backbone. I like that when I'm spoon fishing or fishing jigging wraps. The other thing is I've got a spring bobber on here. It's nice as a strike indicator because I am using a little bit heavier rod. It's nice to have that strike indicator. And of course I'm using six pound. Uh, this is monofilament. When I'm outside hole hopping, it's nice to have that mono. It stays pretty ice free. You know, the one thing about mono though is you wanna make sure that you pull out the memory. You know, so when I drop down for the first time in the morning or if I'm hole hopping outside, I'll kind of stretch that line out a little bit. It gets rid of that coiling, that kinking, that memory. That way you'll have total control over that bait. You know, in addition to, you know, being able to have total control over your bait, it's just much easier to detect that strike. You know, if you've got a lot of memory, a lot of coiling in there, the slightest of strikes, you're not gonna be able to feel that if you don't have control of that line. As you can see, my line's really straight up and down. You don't see any of that coiling whatsoever.